see indoctrinated sheep bots they're already living in hell you know what I'm saying they're going through hell but they don't realize it they don't know the truth they actually they've been programmed to enjoy hell on earth almost everything in the system is backwards it's reversed they're turning the good guys bad you know making them look bad and um, on the mainstream media and turning the uh, bad guys good that's how they've been doing it for so long now it's like everything the government says it's the complete opposite of what they're actually doing you know if they say they're fighting for freedom they're fighting to keep you enslaved but I can tell you know with these uh, indoctrinated programmed brainwashed delusional sheep bots now you can just tell by their energy their attitude that they're they're not enjoying life they're not enjoying life because they're living in their little little brainwashed bubble and they've been so programmed by the system since birth that they just don't see the bigger picture they don't see the truth Come on, Bill. they don't see the truth they are so ignorant to the truth they're so used to being told what they want to hear instead of being told like it really is but it doesn't take much for me to feel what somebody's going through all I gotta do is just be around their energy but they're so brainwashed so conditioned that the truth is just too much for them to handle they can't handle the truth we don't call them sheeple bots or sheeple for no reason you know they're herded just like sheep they're treated just like cattle sheeple bots are used as just like a tool a pawn just to continue feeding the beast system so the elite just look at them like a little bit of profit but they can care less what happens to the people I've been finding out that the masses, the ignorant sheep bots, just they, they're not worth my time in trying to wake them up, but waking up the majority of people is our best and only option that we have to making this world a better place. For when we leave when we leave this world. Sheep bots have been so deceived on a massive scale, it's hard for anybody to fathom really. But, you know, karma is very real. So all these people, all these sheeple bots that are slaving for the beast system for money, just to get money, God knows everything. And he knows that they're choosing to stay in ignorance and live in ignorance. He also knows and sees, or God, God also knows and sees how um, sheep are supporting the beast system now God gave everybody free will and he knows that it's been their choice to stay in ignorance and not seek truth he also knows that people have been manipulated played um, on a massive scale oh here we go they've been taken advantage of big time and God knows that but each and everybody is going to reap what they sow and in my opinion that's why a lot of sheep bots or pretty much all sheep bots because they don't know how to bring heaven to earth or in their minds they're going to suffer on many levels and they are suffering on many levels in this hell that we're living in that they think is normal because they've been programmed and indoctrinated into the thinking this hell on earth that we are all experiencing or I was um, it's because it's karma we're just reaping what we sow 
people are reaping what they sow. So one way or another, one way or another, it's going to catch up to them. And that's why a lot of sheeple bots, or that's why sheeple bots, they go through hell. And they're never happy, always full of anger, hate, jealousy, greed. I mean, the list goes on of all kinds of low vibrational shit. How the sheeple bots are, because they've been trained to be that way by the beast system. They don't realize why all the bad things are happening to them. But I'm telling you, the bad things are happening to them because they're supporting Lucifer, Satan's beast system. Whether they are aware of it or not, they're still choosing to live in ignorance. So by choosing to live in ignorance and support evil, you can bet your ass that you're going to face the consequences. And that's what's happening. These sheeple bots are going to face, or they are facing the consequences. Ignorance keeps people very unhappy living in ignorance. They think that they're happy because they've been indoctrinated and programmed and there's all these distractions that out there put in place to make them think that they're happy, but deep down within their soul they're not. They know something is wrong, but they just don't want to admit it. And they'd rather choose living in ignorance because it's easier. It's easier to just go and work uh, a job and get paid and support the beast system and side with evil than it is for somebody to seek the truth know the truth you know find out the truth and actually do action upon it and actually act upon it look at the average Christian I mean they are just so delusional I hate to say it but I mean they do not expose evil they do not fight against evil but what would God want them to do you know what I'm saying Definitely not ignore evil or side with it like they are. But it's just the easiest route for these sheeple bots. They like to do anything and everything easy. That's why they don't believe the truth or know the truth because it's not brought to them easily. Now, I do the best I can. I made a website and I use social networks to help waken people up to the truth and I try to simplify it as best as I can to bring uh, the truth to the sheeple masses on a silver platter and I'm not the only one that have done this but even that's not good enough for the sheeple bots even that's not because it's not coming from the mainstream what they're used to if it's not coming off the mainstream TV news then they're not gonna believe it because that's the only thing they believe is the government the system the mainstream media you gotta understand the system goes way beyond politics people think that the system is just government and politics it goes much much deeper than that the system is very huge very vast and these secret occult secret society members the elite have uh, used their pawns to infiltrate everything everything that you can imagine everything Hollywood movies TVs, doctors, lawyers, the pharmaceutical uh, industry, you know, definitely government, but big, big companies, big CEOs of companies that are, uh, most of them are puppets for the new world order. The system is very huge. It goes way beyond politics, but of course the system wants you distracted The system wants you distracted on shit. Like the government and politics making you guys think or making people think that the government's in control of everything. And in a way they are, but it goes way beyond the government. Way beyond the government. Every way that the sheeple bots are living in the system is exactly how the elite want them to live. Come on, Bill. Ignorant and clueless to the truth. Google is even part of the system. You'd be surprised what is associated with the B system. 
and the people in charge of these big companies who they really work for. But I mean, for an example, I mean, I'm really limited on what I could say on you and put it on YouTube. I'm real limited on what I could put on YouTube because they censor the hell out of me, remove my videos. I just had another video I uploaded. It was about 40 minutes and I put it on my Rumble because uh, YouTube removed it and gave me a strike. Now I can't upload again for a while. But if you want to see that video, it's on my Rumble. And I just do a rant about all kinds of stuff. And I threw it in one video. And to no surprise, YouTube removed it. Because uh, Google owns YouTube. And well, we all know who controls and runs Google. It's pretty obvious that. And Facebook. Really all these big social platforms are controlled by them. So they can control the information that gets out. They don't want people thinking for themselves. Because with the content that I throw out there, it makes people think for themselves. And they don't want that. They want people to think how they want them to think. And that's it. But even though YouTube's going to remove all, a lot of my videos and give me strikes and shit. And suspend me for uploading on there. I'm still pushing and getting the truth out any way and every way that I can. And that's what we all should do. No matter what. Because I'm going to keep speaking truth until I'm dead. I'm going to keep trying to make this world a better place until I'm dead. I'm not going to be ignorant to the truth and ignore, ignore evil. Let alone, of course, support evil. Fuck that. I mean, sheep of they just enjoy being lied, lied to. They're so programmed to be happy with the lies and negative drama. Not me. Not me. So this video, I'm probably just going to be, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be uploading this video in Rumble, obviously, because I can't upload on YouTube again. This is like the sixth or eighth time they've done this to me. And they, when each time they give you a strike, you can't upload for a while. But I do see, you know, a big awakening happening. I do see that a bunch of people are waking up to the truth, finally. And starting to realize that they've been lied to. Not everybody, and I, I want to say the majority of people are not going to wake up. They're so systematically programmed and indoctrinated to be the, the way that they are. There's no change in them. A lot of people, they, they don't want to change. They don't have the strength to change because they do not have God. If they, have, if they had God, then they could change real easily. But there comes a time when you're leveling up your consciousness and you get it to a certain level. All the truths will kind of be revealed to you as shit gets played in the system. It's just so obvious to what is happening once you elevate your consciousness so high. But Shiba bots are so lost, so helpless, and I can't believe that they are our, our only hope, really, is if the masses wake up. That's the only way we're going to overpower the system. The power that the power that the, the ignorant sheeple masses have given the government and the system is just baffling. It's so much power, too much power. The system is evil, 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 demonic. The more you level up, the more obvious it is that just how demonic it really is. To the average sheeple bot. They have no fucking idea. They have no damn clue how demonic the system really is. They don't even think it's demonic. They're so brainwashed and indoctrinated from But it's basically time to take our world back and get back everything that they, they stole from us, which is freedom, big time. 
it's time to reclaim which is rightfully ours God given the way the system is designed it's like it's a trap to keep you trapped in a trap within a trap and then beyond that is another trap with more traps and sheeple can't even see past the first trap you know what I'm saying it's a trap within a trap within a trap within a trap within a trap she's a good girl and hey, a good good doggy but nature nature provides us everything that we need to survive in this world but the system have played people into thinking that they need the system or at least sheeple bots they think that they need the system to, to survive and you really don't you really don't it's just that the system has made so many traps to trap people in the system and it makes them think that they need the system but if you remove those traps and uh, step into freedom and who you really are you can escape the matrix it's going to take some time because everything takes time in life it's nature for anything to grow it takes time so you got to have patience have faith and keep doing the right thing living righteously doing God's work what God would want you to do that's one of the reasons why I get on here and make content I don't have to do it but I know I have to do it if that makes sense I'm a I'm on a soul mission to help enlighten people to the truth doing God's work what God would want me to do we should be all doing what God would want us to do I'm living the way I'm living right now kind of because I put myself in this situation but I'm following my soul my soul wants me out in nature my soul wants me to um, bug out of the matrix and I've been working on that and I'm still working on that because it's still traps that the system has got me in that I'm trying to dig out but I'm gonna get out of it once I get out of it I mean you guys probably won't even see me on here anymore making content because I'm just gonna vanish because the system and Shiba bots are just so far gone it's becoming like it might be our only chance you know us chosen ones to vacate the matrix get the fuck out of the matrix go off grid live off grid be self-sufficient because the matrix system wants people dependent on the system any kind of benefits that the government ever gives is to make it look like they care about you but it's mainly there just to enslave you to the system it's like a bribe they give to keep you enslaved and sheep will just willingly accept it all the time because it's easy to get most people guys are just people bots and they do not care to know the truth they don't want to know the truth they're comfortable with the matrix because they've been so conditioned to it so they're just so comfortable with the matrix how it is see the matrix isn't broken it's it's exactly uh, it's working exactly how the elite designed it to be and sheeple bots are programmed and indoctrinated and brainwashed and conditioned just how the elite want them to be they're like informants they're working like informants for the elite totally unaware of it they're the agent smiths in the matrix guys and they're everywhere and these sheeple bots they're incapable of changing they can't even change anything to better themselves because they're so conditioned to be exactly how they are
Go, go. But I gotta be careful, of course, what I say to certain people, especially the dumbed down sheeple masses, because they just can't handle the deep truths that I have to offer. If I feel their energy and consciously I think they can handle it, then I'll be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll let them know. And uh, hopefully they grow from the information I share with them. But Sheeplebots, though, on the other hand, they uh, it seems like they just immediately reject the truth because they're programmed to just immediately reject the truth and anybody that speaks the truth of course they don't want to hear it they'll gaslight you because they're so programmed ignorantly indoctrinated to the system and their minds will never be set free their souls will never be set free see in life there's many layers and levels to life and everything and anything in life like this is this right here is just a leaf but if you put it underneath a microscope, there's layers to make this leaf. Same with the tree, anything in life, everything in life. As above, so below. Even in the spiritual world, there's levels and layers to it. But sheep will just take and accept everything at face value for what it, what it looks like. But there's so much more, uh, there's so much more to it than that. And see, the evil powers that be have, like, trapped people in as many layers as they can. On many levels, on as many levels as they can, they've trapped people. So when you free yourself from the matrix, you have to go layer by layer, level by level, and break yourself free. Because it's a lot of conditioning, it's a lot of brainwashing, it's a lot of traps that are put in place that you got to break free of. And when you know the truth, that's the benefit of knowing the truth. It gives you a, a road, a path, a direction to go to free yourself. And most people don't want to take that leap of faith and free themselves because they're so conditioned and comfortable doing the same shit for the rest of their life, or for most of their life. Most people are just so stupid. They're stupid and they're ignorant to the truth and always will be ignorant to the truth. They will always be helplessly enslaved. They got this, this they got a programmed slave mentality. Just to chase money, that's it. They'll, they'll always be controlled by money because they're low vibrational and they live in ignorance. They don't seek truth. Therefore they suffer on many levels and many layers. And when you know the truth, I mean, you really wanna just focus on yourself for the most part and better yourself because you can't change people. They don't wanna change. You know the solution to the problem you know what the problems are in the world and you know the solutions, but they're, most people are just programmed and they outnumber those of us that know the truth by billions to one. It's sad that people don't really want to know the truth. Most people don't want to know the truth because you would think that everybody would want to know the truth. But that's not the way they've been programmed. They're conditioned to believe the lies and trust people that are not for them they'd rather support the fake in this world like sheeplebots they support the hell out of the fake over the real they'll ridicule discredit the, the real they don't want to hear anything real and truthful they don't want to know who actually controls this world? Well, they don't want to know how this world is actually working.
they are so distant from the truth or they are so distant from a healthy lifestyle a better lifestyle they are so distant from it because they they distance themselves from the truth but all, the best that we can do as truthers and chosen ones is to try to put the truth out there to them on a silver platter for anybody that wants to know the truth to to eat it up to receive it and share it to help others but the dumbed down sheeple masses they could care less they've been so indoctrinated into this fucked up system that they think is normal there's nothing in this system that is normal everything has just been conditioning within the system to keep people enslaved to the system they want to control every man woman and child and they want to control your mind body and soul it's been a war on that it's always spiritual warfare but you won't hear about that on the mainstream news about everything being spiritual spiritual and that we're going through a spiritual war you definitely won't hear that on the mainstream news the only garbage that they put on mainstream news is bullshit distractive information that they want people to think how the world is and what they want people to, how they want people to think pretty much That's the reason why most houses have a damn TV in it, because they've been conditioned to have one in their t. In, they've been conditioned to have a TV in their house, and they've just been conditioned to watch the news and get their information from the news, which is deceptive bullshit compared to the truth. But I've had some cool moments, like I've been getting like just strangers, because I got a bunch of like decals on my car. Yeah, I've been getting all kinds of different strangers that I've been meeting. Cool people, I mean, good people, good personalities. And you can tell they got good in their soul. And they actually want to know the truth. Some of them actually have an idea of the same stuff that I'm, that I'm aware of. So we're still, we're consciously, a lot of us consciously are kind of on the same level. And we're aiming to the same direction, which is up spiritually. And it's just kind of cool to encounter certain people and gather up and talk about real shit. Unlike uh, sheeplebot conversations that are out there that are meaningless. That aren't going to better anybody's lives. But it's good to unite with other people and talk about real shit. Real need to know information and share information with each other. But I'm so leveled up and I'm not um, I'm not bragging about myself, but I'm so leveled up, like most of the stuff that people mention to me, I already know about and I've known about for so long. I've been on this truth venture for a very long time. And not to toot my own horn or brag, but I know a lot more than the average person. I know a lot more than a lot of people. Um, I'm one of a kind, I'm rare. We're all supposed to be one of a kind, rare, unique, but the system tries to make everybody the same. And they've been successful, they have been successful for a long time on programming so many people that, to be the same. But there's somebody like myself that has ele elevated their consciousness so high that has found out the truth knowing so much truth and how things actually are when you see the world for what it really is and you see people how for who they really are when you know the truth it makes you unfit to be a slave it makes it to where you can't function like the rest of the she the sheeplebots you can't function as a sheep anymore when you know the truth and of course the sheeplebots won't ever understand that they kind of think that we're all like-minded 
we're all human. Some of us ain't human. We've elevated our consciousness so high. We're spiritual beings. See, sheeplebots are cut off and closed-minded. And they're not opened up to the truth. To their soul. So maybe they might just be human beings. But we're multidimensional beings is what we are. So we're not just human beings. We're spiritual beings. But it's tough. It's tough having to go chase money and somewhat still be a sheep when you know the truth and you've elevated your consciousness, you're opened up to your soul, the truth. It's hard to function in society when you know the truth and you see how things actually are. The average person is a sheep and they would never, never, ever understand that. Like, you know you got sheep bots out there like, oh, go get a job, you bum. Or go get a job. He's he's a deadbeat because he doesn't want to work. Working is slavery. It's modern day slavery. If you're if it's for money, paper money, printed paper monopoly money, and you're working quote quote all day, it's slavery. It's slaving for money. They're controlling you, keeping you distracted by chasing that money. But anyway, all I just wanted to say a few things. Till next video, peace and love. Bye.